Hey guys, we're gonna do dictation today. Check with your teacher to see whether you're, you need a piece of paper or whether you're gonna use your composition book, which is the um, wind book. Whatever you need to do, you need to go ahead and get that and then give your teacher a thumbs up once you're ready so we can get started. Okay, here's what the paper looks like if you're using your composition book. The first word or sound we're gonna do is the sound all. What sound? All. Say it and then write it. Give your teacher a thumbs up. Once you're done, don't forget to mark it. Say it, write it, mark it. Okay. You should have written A L L with a box because all is a glued sound and it has a bonus letter. So this is what all should look like. The second sound is ch. What sound? Ch. Go ahead and say it, then write it, then mark it, and then give your teacher a thumbs up. The second sound was ch. And we write that C-H. It's a digraph, so we underline it. The third sound is th. What sound? Th. That's right. Say the letter names, then write it, then mark it. Give your teacher a thumbs up when you're ready. Okay. Th is spelled T-H, and it too is a digraph, so we're going to underline it. Now we're gonna do some review words. We're gonna repeat the word, we're gonna tap the word, you guys are gonna spell the word, then write it. The first word we're gonna do is the word this. This, ready? V-I-S. Say the letter names, then write it, mark it, and give your teacher a thumbs up. Okay, here's the word this, T-H-I-S. T-H is a digraph, so we should have underlined it. The next word is rib. Say rib, let's tap it. R, I, B, rib. Go ahead and say the letter names, then write it, then give your teacher a thumbs up. Okay, rib should look like this, R-I-B. And there's nothing to mark in this one. There's no digraphs, no glued sounds. We're good to go. Now we're gonna do two current words. The first word is the word tall. Let's repeat that, tall. Let's tap it, T all. Did you use your two fingers for all? T all. Say this um, letter names, then write it. After you mark it, give your teacher a thumbs up. Tall is T-A-L-L. -L. It's got our glued sound in it, so it gets a box. And that glued sound has a bonus letter, so it gets a star as well. The next word is fall. Like, it's fall out right now. It's almost winter time. It could also mean that, like, I fell. And someone might say, did you fall if you have a big scrape on your elbow or your knee? So everybody say fall, and let's tap it, fall. Once you say the letter names, then write it, then mark it, and give us a thumbs up. Okay, friends, the word fall is F-A-L-L. -L. It's got our glued sound, so it should be boxed and starred because it's got a bonus letter. Okay, now we're gonna do our trick words. We cannot tap out trick words. We have to say them, say the letter names, and write them, okay? The first word is his. Did you see his new puppy? Everybody say his. Once you write it, give your teacher a thumbs up. Let's look at how we spell his. 
His is H-I-S. The next word is has. She has a beautiful smile. Has. Everybody say has. Once you've written it, give your teacher a thumbs up. Everybody should have spelled has. H-A-S. Has. Now we're going to write a sentence. The sentence, I'm going to pop out of here for a second. The sentence, so I can show you the sentence frames. Here are the sentence frames. The vet got one quill off the dog. Put that in your mind. A quill is a thing that a porcupine has as points, and they can shoot those actually. So imagine a puppy or a dog getting a quill stuck in their fur and the vet having to take it out. So here's the sentence again. The vet got one quill off the dog. The vet got one quill off the dog. Once you've written that and marked everything, give your teacher a thumbs up so we can go over it. Okay, we're gonna go back to that other so we can look at the answers. So here's the answers. The vet got one quill off the dog. The underlines are the scooping. You should have circled your trick words and you should have starred your bonus letters. So check that to make sure it looks like mine. Great job, friends.